Hello, I'm Father Joe Gambala, pastor of St. Malachi Church in Sterling Heights. Welcome to Saints of the Summer. Today is June 1st. Now, I'm willing to bet most of us have gone to school. I went to Walker Elementary and Stevenson Junior High and John Glenn High School, the University of Michigan, and got my law degree at the University of Arkansas and did my seminary training between St. Minorad, Indiana and St. John's Provincial in Plymouth. That's a lot of different places to go to school. And most of us have gone to different schools and different places, and we have our various memories of those times. But it's pretty much a regular thing to go to school and learn reading and writing and all the other things we need to do to get by in life and to get a job and pay the bills. Well, today's saint is all about schools. His name was Justin. Justin lived in the first century. We don't have exact dates about him. We know that he was a Roman citizen, and we know that he was a Gentile, and we know, which means he wasn't Jewish, and we know that he was very well educated. At some point in his life, he accepts Christianity. In fact, he falls in love with the Lord. And being a well-educated man, he thought other people should learn about the Lord as well. Being from a pagan background, he set up a model that was, that was used in Roman times to educate their young. They would also have schools. Now, the school system was a bit different back then. There was no public funding. If you sent someone to a school, you would basically hire a teacher to teach you the subject. So Justin went to Rome, and he opened up a school. And people would come to learn about Christianity. And maybe in the course of learning about the Lord, they would accept the Lord and become Christians themselves. Now, of course, in school, you have school books. You know, a book on math, a book on reading. And when you go to college, you realize you got to pay a fortune for books that are often written by your teachers. So it was with Justin. There weren't any books out there that Justin could use. I mean, he might have a copy of the Torah to show the Old Testament, and he, he might have had a copy of maybe one of the Gospels, or maybe he'd have a copy of Paul's letters, but this is very early in the church, and the Bible, as we know it, hasn't been put together yet. So Justin responded to this by writing books himself. He wrote all kinds of books on the topic of the faith. One of them is called an apology. It's not an apology in the sense that you, 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 you're, you're saying you're sorry for something you did wrong, quite the contrary. A Roman apology of that time was a strong defense of something, and this was a very strong defense of the faith. Well, over time, many people began to attend his school, and many people who attended would accept Christ and become Christians themselves. And this, of course, got the emperor a little concerned, and in a particular early persecution of Christian, Justin was arrested. And because he was a citizen, he was taken outside of the city, just like St. Paul was, who was a citizen, and beheaded, martyred for the faith. 